I love the article I created on MVP. However, I didn't think about navigation. So separation of concerns means that you're separating out different parts of the application so you can really have a, a modular outlook. Having navigation as part of the main hodgepodge of code, that's not right. One answer, coordinators. So this is intended to be a really basic project. This is a button at the top and it just prints to the console. Nothing too exciting here. There's just a table and I've just put data as strings A, B, C, D. And this menu screen goes to a detail screen which just displays the relevant string in the middle of the view controller. It's not too exciting, but that makes it easier to follow when we look through the code, which let's do. So here, the idea is that I'm using scene delegate to set up a relatively simple coordinator and instantiate the first menu view controller. It's important to recognize here that we always need a reference to the UI navigation controller. All of the views are going to be managed by the UI navigation controller. In this particular example, we have a single navigation controller. Now you could have multiple ones in a tab controller and that would be fine. We'd have to restructure the code slightly, but for each of those navigation stacks, you're gonna need that reference. And it starts off here in the scene delegate and we pass it through to the coordinator when we start. Now the coordinator, We've just got a function there that makes the initial coordinator. We'll look at that in a second. And we have this container, which is a dependency factory. I'm not injecting any dependencies. The reason for that is this particular project, as you've already seen, doesn't actually make any network calls or similar. So a good reason for doing this would be to inject a network manager in there. But in this particular case, I haven't done that. So if we look at this dependency factory, and I've decided to go with the dependency factory creating screens and not have a separate screen factory in this instance, just to make this code a little simpler to read. And if I look at this initial view controller, I'm creating a menu, I'm creating a presenter, and it needs to have a reference to the coordinator so it can navigate, and it has a reference to the view, which is the view controller. Now the slightly unusual thing here is that the view controller also needs a reference to the presenter. And I've used a just simple function and so the view controller has a reference to the presenter. And here we just review that, return that view controller. When you make the initial coordinator, not that much happens. It's just a project coordinator with a reference to this factory. Now, the coordinator has been made slightly more complex because it's open for the future and handling child coordinators. So the abstract interface has all this stuff to do with child coordinators that I'm not going to go into now. And it even means that the root coordinator just has the start, but I've kind of polluted the project coordinator with all that child view controller stuff. So let's have a look at that. We've got the reference to the navigation controller, and then we have this reference to the child coordinators we're not going to talk about. And we have the factory reference here, which we set with the initializer. And when you start, what we're doing is we're making that first view controller, which is our menu. We're setting the navigation controller and then pushing the view controller onto the stack. So it's really similar when we move to the detail view, we just make that view controller and push it onto the stack. So let's have a look at that first initial menu view controller. Most of this is just table view stuff, but I'm programming to the interface here. So the presenter conforms to a protocol and I have a reference to the menu presenter as the protocol. And I get the data from the table from the protocol, from the presenter conforming to that protocol. And I've also got the action for this button, which lives in the presenter. 
and we'll talk about that in a second while I look at the presenter. The rest, setting up constraints, yes, yes, yes. And the presenter, we have the data there. The only other real interesting part here, I think, is setting the presenter. So the menu presenter is just a property and we set it with this function. So if I look at that presenter, we have the data to construct the table view, which of course is in the protocol. But button pressed has to be exposed to objective C. And the way I've overcome that is to make the whole protocol exposed to objective C. So that means that the button pressed can be seen as the action of a UI button. And this does indeed work and print button, button press to the console. We also have this show detail function. It's when we go to the coordinator, say we want to move to the data detail screen, and we're feeding it the data, which is just a string that it needs to construct the detail view. And on the detail view, it's not that interesting. I haven't used the protocol interface here. So the view controller itself is just loading the data and displaying it in the middle of the screen. And the presenter has a protocol, but it doesn't have any functions here because it's much more simple. So it gives you something to look at when you're going through the code. And I recommend you do look through the code in the repository for this and see how it works, run it for yourself and expand it somehow. So the idea here is you're creating great software. MVP is fine for doing it, but you need to think about separation of concerns, testability, minimizing code changes. So if you want to change something in navigation here, use the coordinator to do it. It won't affect the rest of the code. The testability, the maintainability is just better. Hope this uh, video has helped you out. I'll see you next time or not.